In this video, let us talk about Python variable, data types, and indentation. A variable is a named location used to store data in the memory. You could visualize it as a placeholder where you would store a value and that value could change in the program if needed. Here, let us create a variable named age and assign the value 12. Python understands that this variable is an integer type. Each variable can be various types. What types could the variable be? Type is how Python represents different types of data. In this video, we'll discuss some widely used types in Python. They can be integers like 11, 14, or 13,241. They could be real numbers like 21.213. They can also be words. Integers, real numbers, and words can be expressed as different data types. The following chart summarizes three data types for the last examples. We can see the actual data type in Python by using the type command. We can have an int, which stands for the integer, float, that stands for float, essentially a real number. The type string is a sequence of characters. Integers can be negative or positive. It should be noted that there's a finite range of integers but it's quite large. Floats are real numbers. They include integers, but also numbers in between integers. Consider the numbers between 0 and 1. We can select numbers in between them. These numbers are floats. Essentially, any number with decimals would be a float. You can change the type of the expression in Python, and this is called typecasting. That is, you can convert from one type to another. You can convert an int to a float. For example, here, look at the integer 2 being converted to a float 2.0. Nothing really changes. If you cast a float to an integer, you must be careful though. For example, if you cast float 1.1 to 1, you lose some information. If a string contains an integer value, you can convert it to int. If we convert a string that contains a non-integer value, we get an error. Boolean is another important type in Python. A boolean can take two values, true or false. Just remember we use an uppercase T or F. Using the type command on boolean value, we obtain the term bool. This is a short for boolean. If we cast a boolean true to an integer or a float, we'll get 1. If we cast a boolean false to an integer or float, we get a 0. If you cast 1 to a boolean, you get true. Similarly, if you cast 0 to a boolean, you get false. The term literals is anything that gets assigned to a variable or is constant throughout the program. Here, hello world within quotes is a string literal. Similarly, the numbers that are used as assignments are literals too. True or false would be Boolean literals. As per the naming convention that you can refer to in the link below, constants are defined with uppercase letters separated by underscores, sometimes with numbers. In Java, you can declare a string to be static and final with the example seen below. Public static final. There is no const keyword in Python as in many other languages. In Python 3.7 or lower, you cannot declare a variable or a value as a constant. As of Python 3.8, there is a typing.final variable annotation that will tell static type chippers like mypy that your variable isn't supposed to be reassigned. This is the closest equivalent to Java's final. However, it does not actually prevent reassignment. In Python, there's no way to enforce this as a constant. Check out the link below for more examples of data types in Python and a quiz on Python data types that you can complete. Now, let's quickly talk about indentation. Most of the programming languages like C, C++, and Java use braces to define a block of code. Python, however, uses indentation. The amount of indentation is up to you, but it must be consistent throughout the block. Generally, hardcore programmers use four white spaces indentation. Even though I use tabs all the time, four white spaces are preferred over tabs. Check out the Silicon Valley episode where tabs versus spaces comes up. The enforcement of indentation in Python makes code look neat and clean. This results in Python programs that look similar and consistent but you don't necessarily have to do it for the program to work. See the below example where we have if condition 
and the two statements executed on if condition being met in the same line. The statements are just separated by semicolons. This is not easily readable program and is hence never used. Rather, separate the lines of code with indentation like the one shown below. Today's assignment is very simple one too. Write a program to get three numbers from the user as inputs and find the largest of the three numbers. One easy option here is to use if statements. Use else and else if statement if needed. You can find this assignment and the solution in the link below.